Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, how to combine a 1, 3, 2% Fibonacci extension with uh, a flat uh, correction in your wave uh, pattern. Well, we are looking at Coca-Cola stock, Epic uh, uh, Kilo Oscar, right? Uh, listed on the Dow 30 index. I'm using the TC2000 trading software here. And as you can see, there was a, a trend in first right, from somewhere in 1984. And that trend has ended somewhere in 1998. Then we see this move down. That's the first leg of the flag correction though it's not very clear, talking about the internal waves of the A manner wave of the flat correction, normally we should see a distinctive, uh, okay, one, two, three. Uh, this is what we see, this is the reality of the market. The price was just oscillating many, many times and pulled back here, all right? And then from here, the price start going up more, okay? All right now he form a double bottom chart pattern here uh, what we usually do when we see when we are counting wave we see a double bottom we can cover it that double bottom you can cover it that will help you to improve your weight count and uh, we can consider this as the b wave or the flat correction you may say to me george hold on a second i can see on your chart that you are calling this a w s y wave Yes, I did. So, what we say? W, X, Y. Okay. Now, as the price progression, there is something else going to my mind. Will this one become the third wave of a higher degree? All right. Will this one become the third wave of a higher degree? Meaning that. The training first, we call it the first wave of a higher degree, and we call it what this WSY wave as the second wave of a higher degree. The question that is going to the mind of many area wave traders will this become a proper third wave of a higher degree? In order to confirm that as the third wave of a higher degree, it must break the ball, the one, three, eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level of this. Uh, trending first and also should come near the one six one point eight percent Fibonacci extension level of that trending first. But so today today is the 30th of January 2019 as I'm recording this video the time is 15.43 in London All right. in New York at 10.43 so that's what we are talking about, okay? The earlier we count is one step at a time. The chart analysis is one step at a time. Uh, we want to have a bit of idea what is likely to happen for us. So probability if this extended more and become a totally, totally impulse wave. It doesn't look like impulse wave right now. You see, blah, blah, blah. It's consolidating. Uh, that's why I'm thinking more of a flat correction, a gigantic flat correction. Talking about the expanded flag correction, the expanded flag correction, the B wave, the B mano wave of the flag correction can push the prior all the way to the one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level of the trending phase or the motive wave. So we are that one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level is somewhere up there. We cannot see on this chart now. All right, we can see it's somewhere up there. Okay. So as I'm looking at this structure happening here, it doesn't look to me like an impulse wave. We are thinking of what? Okay, a flat correction. Uh, either, I think the line that I put here is the median line between this uh, point and the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level somewhere up there. Or am I missing some information here? Hold on, please. One, three, eight point two percent Fibonacci steps there. Somewhere up there. All right. So how do we handle that? Okay, here it is. 
So recently I posted a video at uh, two four stock trader. It's about uh, how to avoid uh, a double top uh, trading mistakes. Have you watched that video? How to avoid double top pattern mistakes at two four stock trader YouTube channel. So the flag correction is similar to a double top, except that with the expanded flag correction, the second top will be a little bit higher than the first top. But if it's forming, the C mana wave of the flag correction, the prior break below this prior high, which is the psychological price level, uh, is a confirmation of the bearish pressure. So which means if it goes above the prior high, and if return below it, it means that some people were selling it and they cancel that new top. In order to handle that, as I refer you to that video, how to avoid double top chart pattern mistakes, we will draw a ray of trend lines. So from this point, this point, I just draw a ray of trend lines, many trend lines coming from the same point. Roughly, 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 right? Okay, so this point connected to, okay. This tail here, you see, just draw them connect, 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 connect. Don't be afraid to connect, okay? That's what I've done. Yeah, now roughly, roughly, I try not to. Okay, so I draw that line here, see, connecting, okay? Roughly, roughly this one, and this one here. Okay, so do exactly the same thing. Why? Because practically speaking, anything is possible. So in order to get paid, in order to make excellent technical trading decision, one must map out the chart. So can you get your point here? Connect it to this low here. And we have the third line there, and the fourth line connected the same point here, and roughly, roughly to this low here. All right, and this one here we connect this point to this low here. This is how I draw that ray of trend line, roughly, roughly. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Why do we need to do that? That's a very good question because in order to make the decision, we want to trade on the edge, on the edge of a trend line, on the edge of a hot spot trading zone, which are the intersection between the horizontal key level and trend line. Hot spot trading zone right there, all right. Hot spot trading right there, all right. And so on and so on. So you can see now, see. We see those ray of trend line has been very useful. Yes, we see that the reality is he breaks a ball. We test this one here. Okay. Okay. Breaks a ball. We test again. You see. So do you think that the computers know that there is a trend line there? They know. They know. See, there's another intersection. And this is a hot spot trading zone. Intersection between horizontal key level. Trailer, make a ball, retest a hot spot trading zone. Boom, 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 up. Break the ball, retest a trailer. It's going on all over the place. So I can go on and on and on and on. See again? That key level. If you push it down a bit to the closing price, I'm talking about the resistance here. You may call this zone again a hot spot trading zone. Intercession of horizontal key level and a trailer. It's happening all over the place. And the computers can detect that, and they will be looking for high probability trading setup on or near those key levels. So at this junction, one can say, oh, all right, we may have a proper third wave that remains to be seen at this point in time. It doesn't look like it. All right. Another thing I may say, George, it may end up being a flat correction. We are now in the B wave. George, you are the man. The prime may not confirm it. He may confirm it. It may confirm it partially, it may confirm, it may fully confirm all we do. How do I get something out of that decision that making it? Trade on the edge of the trailer. So this is what we are saying to trade. You can continue to go and go up and now you see they go blah 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 blah. And you say, oh George, you say flat correction, what is it? So if it's going to come down to form the C wave. You break below one of those, a trailer, break below, retest, break below, retest. And then we continue to draw. If it's happening and we see more tail, we, we, we will draw more line here to connect those, those uh, support and have more line here. But one more thing that before I wrap it up is that uh, 
which I said before, between the two trash. That is what? A media run. I was speaking like this to get your attention, all right? Don't think that Joe, you are crazy or not. When I change my voice a bit, it's to get your attention. You say, Joe, what is he talking about? Between two trend lines, we have media lines, so you see. I don't want to draw them all. Just remember them. <coughs> and one more time, my friend, nothing can stop you to project the angles between two trend lines. I talked about this before, but sometimes they know, but sometimes they forget to use do that, okay, all the time. Powerful. See that uh, between the two red lines, but projected down vertically on the same line. Vertical must be the same line on the vertical line, not on the side on the left. It's where I brought it, push it down vertically. And then I can just draw another line from this point, very popular point. And again, that's the projection of that angle there vertically. Oh, some people may say, Joe, that's completely wrong. Oh, you can use another one. No, I want to keep it very simple and go and move on very fast. Right, so play with it and let me know how you found it. So this will conclude our discussion today about how to combine 138.2% Fibonacci ascension with a flat correction in your wave apart. If this video has been truly, truly useful to you, please let us know by giving us your beautiful thumbs up. If you think that Joe, this is another blah, 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 repackaging, okay, same thing, but I will say to you, it's about analyzing Coca-Cola stock, all right, and also sharing with traders a few tips and tricks when they are counting wave, when they are dealing with the flag correction, how they can combine the array trend line with the area we count, how they can improve the technical analysis. Well, however, if you think this is an essential tutorial that can help other in your way traders, feel free to share with your friend on Google Plus, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. Sometimes I post video first on Facebook. My Facebook page is stochastic macd Subscribe to our YouTube channel, 24 Elliot Way. Subscribe today. And be sure to click on the notification bell so anytime we record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the THTW24 Credits talking about how to combine 138.2% Fibonacci extension level with a flat correction in your wave pattern. If you want to learn more about the flat correction or in your wave strategies, go to www.24inyourwaves.com. Subscribe also to our YouTube channel, 24 in your way. If you want to learn and master the topic of 138.2% Fibonacci extension trading, go to www.dayprotraders.com. Happy trading to you all, and I will speak to you soon. Thank you for watching.